Columbus Small Animal Hospital, loving our work. I'm Dr. Jim Kramer. This is Crate. He's a nine-month-old male border collie. You can see he's very lame on the right hind leg. Has difficulty placing weight on it at all. Just kind of hops when he puts that leg down. Crate was referred to us by another veterinarian with the history of having fallen out of a moving car. I thought, well, surely they meant a pickup. And we can see Crate's problem. He's got an ileal fracture, a long diagonal fracture of his ilium that's forward or cranial to the hip socket, the acetabulum, and then a fracture behind it, an ischial fracture. So that whole section that contains his hip joint is just floating free, not really connected to anything. And so this is unstable, biomechanically unstable. It will not heal on its own. It can just constantly shift every time poor crate moves at all. And so this does need to be repaired. And so we take the young border collie into surgery using the autoclaved vet wrap or power flex, I guess in this case, to keep this leg sterile. And now we have our surge cam overhead camera shoot. This is a hard place to get to. It takes a lot of dissection because there's three different gluteal muscles that cover the wing of the ilium. They're all big and thick. And so you're working in the bottom of a well to get down to the bottom of all this thick musculature to even get to the bone at all. And then of course we have to find the fracture site, identify the structures, reduce the fracture, and find a way to stabilize or affix it so it'll stay in place until it heals. It turns out poor Crate really did fall out of the window of a car. He actually lowered the window himself. He used his paw to press the button of the electric window, lowering the window, and then jumped out of the moving car to the horror of his owner who could not reach him in time and was lucky to involve himself in an accident as a result. But poor Crate did involve himself in an accident and has these very nasty and severe pelvic fractures. So I'm dissecting down to the level of the fracture and I've located it. So now I'm working to reduce it. I'm gonna have Dr. Stephanie step in to help me. Need another set of hands to hold things out of the way and hold things together and keep them aligned. And so now I'm placing a Steinman pin into the fractured area to immobilize this fracture and stabilize it, as you'll see. This video is highly edited, like all of these videos, so we take hours of surgery time and reduce it down to just a few minutes. Ultimately, we end up placing four Steinman pins through this ilial wing to keep it reduced and hold it in place. And here's the finished product. And here is Crate a few days later undergoing a class 4 therapeutic laser treatment which is going to reduce inflammation, it's going to reduce pain and speed healing to help him recover more quickly. And here is Crate just 10 days post-surgery. You can see how much we've gained as far as the use of that right hind leg goes. You can see how happy he is, carefree really. Of course. He still has severe pelvic fractures, but they are being held together by orthopedic implants now and lined up. So he's not walking completely normally, but certainly much better than when he came in. And clearly, in his mind, he's much better off. So here's Crate once again, just two weeks post-surgery. So we're doing extremely well. We're very pleased with his progress. He's a happy dog, full of life, full of fun. Lovable dog, wonderful patient. Columbus Small Animal Hospital, loving our work.